Hey everybody, it's, uh, it's that time again uh, for our Wellness Wednesday tip. Um, for those of you that have been following us, every Wednesday we do a new wellness tip uh, based upon questions that patients have brought in me, in to me um, into the office over the last week or so. Um, so uh, the other day a, a patient asked me a question and I thought that'd be a great one for us to talk about this Wednesday. Um, one of my patients came and asked me, well, why do chiropractors take x-rays? You know, what's the point of a chiropractor taking x-rays? And I thought it was actually a question for us to talk about, so just take a minute and, and explain that. So, um, first of all, in my office, we do use x-ray. We use state-of-the-art, uh, high-frequency digital x-ray uh, because it allows us to do what we need to do best, and it's an excellent tool. Um, first thing, and one of the main reasons that chiropractors may take x-rays is to rule out any contraindications for care. Uh, what I mean by contraindications is a reason that we'd refer a patient out to either another healthcare provider, their medical doctor, a orthopedist, an oncologist, things like that, to either manage the patient on their own or to manage the patient with us. Um, and it's to find those things, you know, sometimes we find tumors or, or fractures, uh, bone infections or other pathologies that we would not wanna treat that area of the patient. Um, Cause the first and foremost, most important thing we, we wanna do is, is do no harm to the patient. So we wanna make sure that our care is appropriate for the patient and is exactly tailor, tailor fitted to what they need um, versus just giving everybody, else, everybody the exact same thing. Um, so it tells us where not to adjust and when not to adjust um, or treat the patient. Secondly, uh, to aid uh, where and how we're going to treat the patient. Um, it helps me find which vertebra to adjust. After I've done an exam on the patient and we found the, some of the problem areas, we can hone in um, on that area and really find out what's the best way to treat that patient. We can hone in on it and we can actually lay eyes on, and, uh, on that problem and see it. Uh, without the x-ray, it's kind of like flying blind. And, and most surgeons don't fly blind and, and start doing surgery without first uh, looking to, at imaging, MRI, x-ray, CT, things like that. Chiropractors are the same way. Why would you wanna fly blind? Don't you wanna be able to see exactly what it is that you're treating and the best way to correct that problem? So it allows me to put eyes on that problem, see it, and know exactly the best way to correct it. Um, we can correct that subluxation or that misalignment of the bone and where the bone's put in the improper position. And with that, we can see the malposition of the bone on that x-ray so we know the best way to correct it. Instead of just randomly um, popping or, or moving bones, we know exactly how that bone needs to be moved to correct the problem in the patient so they can get back to doing the things that they want to do, whether it's golfing or playing with the kids or sleeping through the night or reducing their allergies. Any of those things, we are able to see so that we can correct it on the x-ray. Um, and then thirdly, uh, the third point is in our office, we are uniquely trained uh, to complete a very special motion study x-ray. Uh, there's only a handful of doctors in the country trained to do uh, this procedure. And these special motion study x-rays uh, allow us to not only see the problem, but we can confirm where the problem area is, um, we can see how much function is lost in that problem area, and we can see how long the problem area has been there based upon um, that motion study. Based upon that information, we can infer um, how much function can be returned, and reasonably speaking, how long that's gonna take us to do that. So before we start treating a patient, we can actually give them a reasonable expectation of outcomes um, and how good they're going to get under the period of, of treatment with us. Um, that way we can compare it and see, and then in a future date, if we need to shoot a new x-ray, we can compare it to the old x-ray and know that that outcome was actually achieved. We can actually see it. So not only do we know the patient, not only do we feel like the patient's getting better, not only does the patient feel better, we know their treatment worked because we can see it on the x-ray. I hope that answers that question. Um, if you have any questions further about why a chiropractor may or may not use an x-ray, feel free to post it in the comments here and we'd be more than happy to answer those, those uh, questions for you later. I uh, hope I answered that question well for you, that you understand why we may use x-rays and why we use it in this office and why many other chiropractors may use x-rays. I hope you have an awesome week. Um, you are over halfway through done with the week again. So finish strong and a new weekend is here for uh, you very soon. We'll, we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.